Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing quote unquote spillover in the business community here in Thailand. The reason I thought of making this video is I was reading a recent article in the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Thai Industry Left at the Altar. Quoting directly, heightened geopolitical tensions are tipped by some analysts and economists to trigger a spillover effect with one possibility, the relocation of industries to this region, including Thailand. Peyong Srivanich, the uh, excuse me, chairman of Thai Bankers Association, a key member of Joint Standing Committee on Commerce, Industry and Banking, recently predicted tensions between China and the U.S. over Taiwan could benefit Thai shipments and draw relocated investment to the region. Apple supplier Foxconn and the U.S. tech giant Apple Inc. were among the latest foreign companies to make a move. So interesting. It's really fascinating that we've we've seen a lot of developments. This kind of, in a sense, the how do you want to put it? Sort of the headwinds for this got got their momentum. I think in the probably the last two years of the Trump administration, as pressure was brought to bear on China, and we've seen and then and then this whole pandemic thing kind of kicked off. Supply chains became a major issue, and we're definitely seeing. Well, we're seeing. The tectonic plates of not only, I guess, geopolitics, but you know, international business starting to kind of move. And as a result, the, you know, I don't know how you want to put it, but the system is sort of realigning. And it's looking like there's more business opportunities probably in Thailand's future. Not, not, and not only Thailand, I'm sure Vietnam and other countries here in ASEAN and in the region are probably going to benefit from this as well, either directly or indirectly. But it is interesting to watch. For those who are unaware, Americans who wish to do business here in the kingdom of, in the kingdom of Thailand can operate under what's called the U.S. Thai Treaty of Amity, which allows Americans to own their businesses 100%. No real need to have a Thai on the board or Thai uh, ownership, notwithstanding the provisions of the Foreign Business Act. The, you know, the, there are very few jurisdictions really in Asia that accord Americans quite that level of deference when doing business within that jurisdiction. There may be ramifications for that ASEAN-wide, which may also augur well for someone looking to do business in Thailand. But I do find it interesting that, yeah, we definitely are seeing, you know, there, there, there's movement, I guess spillovers, maybe the right word, spillover of business opportunities into the Southeast Asian region. 